Clint. Hello once again and today we're going to be taking a look at the Corner Master Master Fan MF200R ARGB. Yeah, right, so I've just reviewed the 140 Halo fan. Um, that was essential because I needed to replace that, but then I'll go and buy a 200mm fan. Well, not just one, three to be precise. So I thought, well, I'm changing the back fan. Why don't I change all the fans? So my case is about nine years old as re from recording. And my case has three of these. So I'm going to replace them all because they're all nine years old. The fan fans are quite old, but the case is old. I don't want to replace the case. It's a good case. Um... Right, so I thought I'd get these. I got them at a good price. Now, they're about £21 on Amazon. But I didn't pay £21 for them. I got these for about £12 because these are from Amazon Warehouse. So the box is a little bit scuffed or, you know, something's... I mean, the product's all right, but it's just usually superficial damage with the box. But who cares about the box? So here we are, so with addressable RGB light effects. Now my motherboard does not uh, support the RGB part, the ARGB part, um, but I have bought something that hopefully it will do. <laughs> it doesn't collect, connect to the motherboard, but it's its own separate um, unit. Right, so here we are, is the box, 200 millimeter. Right, so I don't really tell you much, but... Ah! So someone decided to put that on there, but no need to worry, I don't think. Because, as I said, I've got another one. Now, I said I've ordered three. Um, the third one ain't turned up yet, because I had to order that a different time. Um, so, can we see that? Addressable RGB, silent calling, calling technology, hybrid design... Smart fan sensor for jam protection. Oh, that's good to know. And it's all in different languages. So, as you see, Amazon Warehouse. Okay. So, let's open one up. Take it out of the box. People seem to like unboxing videos. So, there you go. Here's your unboxing video. So, here's the fan. Um, feels quite quality fan actually well hopefully for that price yeah wants to be so I'll be happy to pay you know a good price if it's going to last but obviously this can work without the RGB you don't need to have the RGB on because um, all you have to do is oh this is a free pin oh this is free pin um, goes into your motherboard not four pin like the other one Okay, I mean that goes in. That controls the speed and of the of on the motherboard. That ain't got nothing to do with the RGB. Um, this does, but like the other one, it don't have a pass through. So it just has the two cables. That's it with this one. Just the two cables. So that um, goes into your RGB module or motherboard or if you want to connect it to a um, a hub like a RG, a RGB hub um, so there's the fan I will be giving this a demonstration right so you get additional screws and bits and pieces so here we have four big screws um, so that obviously going to go on top of the case um, if you're wondering what case I've got, it's a Cooler Master Half X. Right, so they, two of them, two big fans will go on top and one fan will go on the side. Now, I can't do nothing about the front fan, that is a completely different fan. Uh, tailor made for that case, so I can't do nothing about that, I can't replace it. So here, you get, so you get, I don't know what, perhaps... Right, you get four case fans, which I am going to use. Um, 
Now, I'm not experienced with RGB, ARGB fans or nothing like that. So, is that just to connect two fans together? Um, I don't know. I, mean, I know what that is. If you're connecting two fans together, this just it's a clip what holds the two connections into place. So, that's for your ARGB if you're connecting two or more together. But only you can connect two together, I think, with these fans. Unless you're putting it in a uh, hub. So this is the Cooler Master Master Fan MF 200R ARGB. Let's see how this goes. Oh, I think there's something wrong with the motherboard. Um, that's two fans now. That is really struggling. So I reckon it's the motherboards that's not powerful enough to spin these fans. I don't get it. Surely that can't be a fault with a fan. <laughs> um, so yeah, once again, it, it it's all nice. Yeah, it stopped completely. <laughs> all right, and there's this unless it's the power supply ain't ain't um, powerful enough. I don't know. That's very weird. But it's certainly nice and colourful. The LEDs are really nice. Look at that, that does look good. So I can't wait to get these inside my PC because that looks rather good. Spin. Yeah, it's just this it's either the motherboard header or the power supply unit ain't giving it enough power to spin these fads. Surely I'll have to, I'll, I will let you know once I put it in my main case and you know it could be the motherboard but definitely looks nice so well that looks good so I would highly recommend them yeah so the hub's doing its job the um, the controller's doing its job and all the fans are spinning, including that one. I want to leave that little one out. Right, so this is the, um, the fans installed in the computer case that I'm currently using. So this is more of a video of the 200 um, Cooler Master fans. Right. Now this hasn't really gone according to plan, but it does have a happy ending, if you know what I mean. Um, right, as you can notice, there's only one top fan. Now there's a reason for this, because these 200mm fans are not really made for this case. Um, they are slightly different from the stock, case, stock um, fans for this case. Now... This one, the front one fits in no problem, but the rear one is using um, a stock fan because usually in the back here, in 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 the on the case, there's a couple of um, points that there and there which goes through a gap in the fan of the stock fan. These don't have it on these ones, so you might have to do a bit of um, cutting out if you decide to put that fan in the back but I'm not going to do that because it's no point because the, the the computer will be pushed under the desk anyway so you won't really see that fan anyway but I was telling you about um, the 220 millimeter fan that goes in the front here well that 200 millimeter goes in the front so I replaced that one with the 220 I took that out and put the 200 in and that's better because you can see it's at the front so you can see it better so really that's worked out well so if you think if you've got I don't know if you've got one of these cases or a similar case that takes 200 millimeter fans um, yeah if you've got one of these at the half X just remember if you're thinking about it it won't go in the back unless you do modifications but I see no point for me. Let's look at the side one. So here's the side one. So that went in no problem. No problem whatsoever. So so really it has worked out better. 
So really nice and bright, really nice and um, colourful. Um, so yeah, I'm happy with the out outcome of the 200mm fans. So yeah, it's worked out pretty well. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Till next time, and goodbye.